Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen, sending out a lot of love. This is Resident Evil official teaser Netflix. Oh, funny. The views are 444. But, um, well, there's a 444 in it. But with this one, I immediately ruined it for myself and went straight to the comments because you know the whole meme with Netflix adapting things. <laughs> one of the biggest things that's coming for Netflix is a One Piece live action. Oh, that's funny. Netflix is the world's leading streaming entertainment service with 222 two, two million paid memberships. Wow. 222 and 444. Anyways, with <laughs> a One Piece adaption, live action adaption, and I, I made a video on it, and I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. Uh, one, one of my bros that's way more obsessed with One Piece than me now feels like it's a good like it's a good omen that they had a, they're having getting a big budget to do it but I guess we'll just see I'm honestly not going to judge it now I just want to see when it comes out but hopefully that doesn't come out but <laughs> a funny comment I read was obviously there's the first one this looks like the most Netflix adaption meme brought to life that I've ever seen someone else lol why does resident evil keep getting the sci-fi treatment it's always felt like a more spooky gothic type of feel claustrophobic intense not so huge and explosiony um that's actually facts the tight corridors hallways and stuff like that in the old games used to make me feel super super uneasy evil cannot create anything new they can only attempt to corrupt and ruin what good forces have invented or made <laughs> is this like a re reference to this being this bad or even, it's actually impressive that Resident Evil can be anything now. They just need to have a few zombies and an umbrella logo in there. That's, and I feel bad because I, I think I reacted to Welcome to Raccoon. That was the, Welcome to Raccoon City. That was the trailer. But I think that was actually not that bad. So, yeah. Oh, another person lower said, all you do is got to hire, or all you got to do is hire the people who have played the game. Keep the action small and the stakes high. And the characters grounded and related to their video game counterparts. The story's interesting and the tone close to the games and voila. And that is so true with so many things. When they try to make a like TV counterpart or like personally to me, The Walking Dead. I don't really like it, but I love the Telltale series, the game version. And I feel like if they followed Lee's story in reality, if they brought that to like Netflix or TV and the, but like followed the game that would be fucking awesome they find a bomb ass actor to play clementine lee and all those characters would be awesome but anyways we're focusing on resident evil so let's see if this is as cringe <laughs> as the comments make it out to be billy jade welcome home i'd like to build the world a home I really think you guys are going to love it here. 2022 new Raccoon City. Oh, damn. They got the umbrella logo on water bottles. I see. Oh, he's a pop star. Ah, the lyrics. July 14th. Okay, I will watch it and do a review if anyone wants me to see. To, to, to do it so you don't have to. I see what they mean when this is like really sci-fi. They really went for it here. They, they... Yo, I know this is going to be nitpicking, but this is exactly what I do. As soon as it becomes like a survival situation or post-apocalyptic adventure type thing, the world is just, yeah, it's always, look at her hair goes from this to this. Of course. It's like they, I swear they do that, this kind of thing in every single, every single survival game or something that the hair becomes a mohawk or something. But 
I love mohawks, though. I, I have one, so it's okay. But they do it all the time. It's weird. And and I see what they mean with the whole sci-fi genre. The, this doesn't this doesn't even seem like Resident Evil. It seems like it seems like I see what they're saying. I see what they're saying here. Has evolved. Okay, so it's called New Raccoon City, so I'm trying to get the grasp of what's going on here. Is it like, does this take place after? It wouldn't take place after the first Resident Evil, right? Because, or like the, the first Raccoon City, because that shit was like tossed. <laughs> like it was tossed. I'm pretty sure like the whole entire world was tossed in the Resident Evil games. I didn't play all of them like super in depth, so I don't know, but... With, like weren't the towns and cities just absolutely like in ruins or at least on fire I can't remember but yeah London 2036 it looks more like a zombie apocalypse than than anything it's almost like I see what they're they're talking about with the whole mm, I don't know to me yeah it did get huge. It feels like the world's gigantic and there's so many survivors. It didn't feel like that in Resident Evil. If that's what the person was referencing into in the terms of it being huge, it seems like there's mad survivors. Like mad, 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 mad survivors. Yeah. I forgot to mute it. I hope my video doesn't get like freaking claimed in multiple places. Not sure about this one. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't look as bad. Okay, so for a hard, okay, for a hardcore Resident Evil fan, or like all those in the comments, this probably feels a bit weird because you know everything that looks out of place with this, and I and I can see the sci-fi treatment with this and the explosions and action and drones and shit and. Yeah, that okay. So that part does not feel Resident Evil to me. And being someone who doesn't even play it that much, <clears throat> it doesn't. It doesn't seem. It doesn't. That doesn't seem like it. But it, this also doesn't look bad, if that makes sense. Like this shot right here, the bear is just so fucking random to me. Like, why is this here? <laughs> why was that there? I don't know. But those okay. So the only part that looked Resident Evil was right here. That, that shit that grabbed the dude in the cave or wherever they were. And then like back at this part, was it? Yeah, dude getting snatched there, that thing crawling. And then where whatever's chasing right here. Those are like the most Resident Evil parts. But everything else just makes it feel like kind of that right there. There it was. Everything else kind of feels like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. That, more of that in scenes. I don't know, just pulling things from my memory, I'm not, I don't remember Resident Evil being hordes and hordes and hordes of zombies and infected, but you knew they were there, but you didn't see them like that. Like, it was basically maybe like 10 in a street, and to, to give you the effect, and then like in buildings, to give you the effect of what the Umbrella Virus did, but it wasn't like this scene that they decided to show where it was like a whole yeah like this feels walking deadish od hordes of zeds I, yeah I don't, I don't know but it doesn't look bad but i can see where it doesn't look like resident evil <laughs> like yeah the the people the people people the fans the everything they're wanting more of like to stick to the characters who exist which i'm not gonna lie i would love to see um ethan winters in a netflix adapt ah that would be so fucking cool like the the characters in the main games are so cool i don't i don't actually understand why netflix or like anything that tries to make an adaption of a game or something like will switch the characters put the timeline in the future almost say like oh this is after these events or something just hit the first main one first but 
It doesn't look bad. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't actually look bad. But it doesn't look like Resident Evil at the same time. I see that. But it doesn't look bad. I don't want to... I don't want to, like, just shut it out immediately. Because it, it doesn't look bad to me. All right. Much love and Moonlight. And to the Resident Evil fans out there, I'm sorry on behalf of Netflix. <laughs> I'm just joking.